So um, this type of sponge behaves super, super nicely when it's combined with uh, delicious fillings like mousses or all sorts of other types of soft creams. But it's got this downside that it cannot be tolerated by people who have allergies to nuts. So I'm going to start preparing and the way how I will do it is just by beating the eggs and I'm using whole eggs. Then when they will get nicely aerated, I will add the sugar, some vanilla as everybody loves vanilla and it goes nicely along with the pistachio. I've got some pistachio paste in here and uh, if you want to get some pistachio paste just to prepare a small batch of um, sponges you can always just follow the link attached and then go to to the shop and purchase then i'm going to add some oil and i've got some almond meal i intend to use the almond meal because i like the flavor but obviously if you don't want to use the, um, the almond meal you can just um, use the the flour and i'm using cake flour so i'm going to start beating the eggs We'll take probably about two to three minutes to get the eggs nicely aerated. I will start by beating them with medium speed. And when the air pockets will start looking kind of um, a good, giving a good volume to my mixture, I will increase to high speed and I will carry on beating till all the, the, the air pockets will look small and uniform. And that's going to give a good body to my mix. When that's going to happen, I will start gradually to add the sugar. Then I will add the oil to turn this mixture into kind of a mayonnaise. And then I will put my uh, pistachio paste. I also have got here some um, green color just to enhance the color of the sponge. And then I will put the dry ingredients. So let's start by just beating medium speed for about three minutes. So the two minutes have gone and I will increase the speed now to maximum just to incorporate even more air. But the whole mixture looks quite good. All the air pockets are quite dense and small, all having the same size. Now I can start adding the sugar. Little by little to make sure that it doesn't get straight to the bottom of the bowl. And I'm going to start adding the paste as well. Pouring the paste so it gets nicely incorporated. That's going to color the sponge a little bit, but not very much. So for a brighter green, we should add a bit of color. I'm going to add the oil. And then stop. I don't want to over mix as I'm going to lose all that air which I've incorporated nicely. As I said, if you want to be more color in here, you can add some green. I've got here some liquid green oops i'm just going to add a few drops okay then i'm also going to add a bit of vanilla my almond meal and the flour 
again sprinkling the flour and then just folding the dry ingredients in without knocking the air just making sure that the dry ingredients are incorporated and there there is no flour stuck to the bottom of the bowl the oven is hot it's got 165 to 170 degrees it was set to 170 but whenever you open the door the temperature in, tends to drop a little bit so any temperature between 165 and 170 will be fine and obviously I've, I've got my baking tray on the side which I will use to level the mix in here and it will go in the oven for 15 minutes trying to scrape everything Okay, just level. I put in the oven to bake for 15 minutes. So the sponge was um, in the oven for 15 minutes. It does look a little bit brownish, but the reason why it looks so brownish is uh, that I've put some coloring in. It's not going to look the same inside, it's just the top but it's it's quite hot so first of all i'll just get my knife and make sure that the edges are not trapped in here okay then just using one of my gloves we'll just secure this actually just try it and do it without the gloves even if it's super super hot just take this on the side and put the other rack on the top without pressing very hard as I don't really want to squash the whole thing yeah, just flip it upside down or you can just leave it to cool and then you can peel the paper after. I just want to show you how it's going to look like when it's done. But it's super, super hot and obviously super, super soft. So I don't want to ruin it. Going to, to detach the paper and then just gently we'll just peel off this like a skin. And then this obviously will have to be left to cool. Again, there is not too much trimming to be made because everything looks even. But if you want to make sure that it turns up like even, you can just put the second rack on the top and that will just allow the, the sponge to cool, but also get to the thickness required. Now, if... Um, if the top seems to get stuck to the surface, then you can put some parchment paper, but it will stuck to the parchment paper as well. So maybe it will just be a good idea to leave it to, you know, just set on its own because it looks leveled. I don't think you will need to, to trim anymore, but in case that you want to get rid of the brownie bit on the top, we'll show you how to trim it and get it to a beautiful color. We'll just have to leave it to cool for now. 